The aorta is the largest artery in the body, and because it's so large, it has three different regions. The part exiting the heart and going up is called the ascending aorta. The ascending aorta curves and then turns into the aortic arch. And the aortic arch turns downward to become the descending aorta. The descending aorta has two regions. The part in your chest is the thoracic aorta, and this would be the abdominal aorta. Right at the very start of the aorta are the first two branches. So this is the right coronary artery and the left coronary artery. So those arteries are going to feed the muscles of the heart. The aortic arch has three branches, the brachiocephalic artery, the left common carotid artery, which is going to the neck, and the left subclavian artery running under the clavicle. Now brachiocephalic, brachial means arm, cephalic means head, because it's almost immediately splitting into the right common carotid going to the head and the right subclavian which is going to the arm. The thoracic aorta has a lot of branches I'm not going to talk about but those are just going to go to various structures within the thoracic cavity. Once the aorta passes through the diaphragm now we call it the abdominal aorta and you see here we have one, two, three blood vessels. Well, the centerpiece of this is actually a very short blood vessel called the celiac trunk artery. The celiac trunk artery is a short vessel which splits into three more vessels. So think stomach, spleen, liver. This is the left gastric artery, this is the splenic artery, and this is the common hepatic artery. Now, because this is the left gastric artery, you might be wondering where the right is. There is a right gastric artery, but we cannot see it on this model. This blood vessel here is the inferior phrenic artery. Remember, phrenic is related to the diaphragm, so that's why it's phrenic. Then there's this singular artery. Skip these two in the middle and then get to this singular artery. So this one is the superior mesenteric artery. The one on the bottom is the inferior mesenteric artery artery. And we're going to go back to these. Those are your right and left gonadal arteries. Remember gonads would be ovaries or testes, so that's where those arteries are headed. And then this and this would be the right and left renal artery. The aorta ends when it splits into two. So when it splits, it becomes the common iliac arteries. And then each common iliac artery would then split into an external iliac artery and internal iliac artery.